My name is Anise Parker. I am the mayor of Houston, Texas. Um, I knew that I was gay and began to put a name to it when I was 12. Didn't come out until I was 15. I fell in love with a girl who was a year older than I, 16. She started a torrid relationship. I mean, I was just first love, just magnetic. Had to be around each other all the time. Uh, unfortunately, her mother walked in on us when we were kissing and uh, decreed that we could never see each other again and really uh, kind of some real vicious comments. And so we couldn't handle that. We had to be together. So we found ways to sneak around to see each other. We would um, double date or each get dates with guys, have them take us to the movies, and then we'd kind of run into each other so we could sit together. I mean, all sorts of things, anything to be together. So for months and months, we had this kind of double life going on. But I would also, I would spend evenings just sitting in the dark, staring up at her window, hours and hours at a time. Absolutely miserable. Uh, we couldn't make me be 15 again for anything in the world. I had spent the summer between my junior and senior year in college uh, living with my parents. I had not done that since I left home to go to college, but I stayed with them for the summer. And um, a younger woman from, from the university that I'd been involved with and I, we you know, carried on our relationship by phone, which of course this is before cell phones and I was racking up these long distance phone bills that was having a very hard time explaining to my parents why they, why they were there. And we went back to, uh, to school in the fall and uh, her mother went to the uh, uh, university and attempted to have me expelled. I actually attempted to have both of us expelled uh, because we were in a relationship with each other. And fortunately for me, they explained to her that policies has, had changed, times had changed, that that might have been something that would have been done in the past, but they didn't do that anymore. Now they did call us in and inquire as individually as to whether we were doing okay in school, did we have any problems, did we need any psychological counseling, and we both said no, absolutely terrified. Uh, but the university dropped it. And a week or so later, I received uh, a letter in the mail from my mother, and she had included a letter from my girlfriend's mother to, to her. And uh, it started, it was like eight pages, and it started out, last year at Rice, your daughter and my daughter had a big love affair, and it went on and on about how she'd gone to the university, and the university didn't care, and uh, that uh, my parents needed to, to uh, they probably ought to pull me out of school and they needed to make me uh, stay away from her daughter. And my mother just put it back in the envelope. It came in and forwarded it to me. But I guess it made her mother uh, feel that I had somehow corrupted her daughter and if I got out of the picture, it would be okay again. Uh, but uh, no, her daughter's still gay after all these years. It doesn't just turn on and it off. It doesn't just turn on and off, no.